So here were our choices. We had level two signaling and we could lower our standards. Lowering your standards is probably what your body wants given that we evolved over 250,000 years just being Paleolithic hunter-gatherers and you like freedom, you like looking for berries and having no responsibility, uh, hunting small mammals or large mammals, whatever. Um, and in the real world, uh, that translates to something like just traveling and not caring about anything, having just a, a small group of friends, that's your sort of inner tribe, and they care about you and you care about them and you don't really care about anyone else. And obviously, this is what we get in popular culture. This is what's represented in our art, in our media. This is ASAP Rocky, um, whatever hip-hop, pop, music that is popular ever. This is what it is, pretty much. It's just tapping into what we really are, what we really want, what everyone would do if they could get away with it. Now, why can't people get away with it? One, people aren't rich. If you're not rich... You can't afford it. Two, and perhaps even most importantly, perhaps a lot of people could if, if only they were int-j enough, if, if only they could detach enough from the sort of near signaling landscape into which they're being absorbed. Uh, but not a lot of people could do that. And so that's the biggest problem. It's that we have all these little people, right? And they just get sucked up into this arbitrary status hierarchy these people are just sucked up because they're too, um, you could just get in their minds. You could get them to compete at anything, and they think that's what they have to do with their lives. You know, they, they take this very seriously. Uh, it's the people that, you know, just take the same class over and over again because they feel like they have to pass that class, uh, and they pay again and again and again, and they just suck at it, right? But they can't learn because they feel like that their entire self-value is tied to something and they don't see the bigger picture right they can't disconnect and see well this is just an arbitrary status hierarchy out of millions and millions and millions that exist on earth that have existed throughout time that exist in the entire multiverse right people don't think that way they they think in their whatever is happening around them um and then they absorb that and the people that don't sort of defect and go form their own, or just uh, lower their standards and just kind of, which sucks if they're not rich also, right? It's like if if you're not going to play one of these games, um, you, you know, it's like, I don't want to play soccer, I don't want to play basketball, then you're just not going to get the girls unless you convince them that you've invented a new sport and you get other people to play your sport and you're the best at that other sport. Uh, so that's that's the way you do it. That's the only strategy that you can have if that's your ultimate goal in life. Um, and the reason why me as a level two signaler think that this is extremely important um, is not from just an individual perspective of, yeah, let me build my own status hierarchy or let me teach people how to form their own status hierarchies. I'm, I'm saying this is extremely important if you want to achieve something useful in the world. For example, rejuvenating our bodies and getting over aging, right? Like, that's important because death makes a lot of people sour. It makes a lot of people nihilistic. It makes a lot of people uh, just bitter at a certain point. Like, once they get past a certain age, it's like, what are you really doing this for? Why are, you know, it's like you, you were sucked up into one of these arbitrary status hierarchies. You tried to compete. You probably didn't even get to the top, and then you die. And how are you supposed to feel? Probably not very happy. So if we could solve death, if we could solve the fact that our bodies get old and age, and the fact that we've already made progress in biogerontology, and not a lot of people know about this, but we could get a lot more of this going on if only more people got sucked up into the right competing mode right like competing at the right things but in order to compete at the right things namely uh you know like transhumanist causes or effective altruist type causes uh what you would have to do is make it cool you would essentially have to uh bring in that what men want men want power and they want sex so insofar as you don't really provide that within uh 
when when you're designing uh, the, these sort of causes, you're not going to get a lot of stuff done. You're only going to get a tiny minority of people who defect from the, the standard ones, and they're not going to be very motivated either. Uh, in general, it's it's very hard to get extremely motivated people who are just doing it because they're submissive enough to do it. Like they feel like they they're just very conscientious and they have to do that um, thing and, and get nothing in return, uh, in, in terms of gratification, because it, it, that's just not how people operate in general. Um, so if we're designing this, we need to take into account how people actually operate and try to, try to essentially trick them into doing level two st stuff signaling uh, which is like just more sophisticated signaling in the end, right? Like, do I really, really, really care about my health? Well, my revealed behavior doesn't show it, but per, and per, so perhaps it's just level two signaling. But in any case, I would rather have level two signaling than level one signaling, where you're not even aware of what you're doing. You're just doing whatever is happening, um, and you don't really question it. So. So if we want to get this stuff done, make it cool. 